Hi Cancer, this is your general tarot reading for Cancer Sun, Moon and Ascendant or Rising Sign for the month of March. And how are my beautiful moon babies, my Cancerian lovelies? You are going through all that deep transformative work through February, so I just wanted to check in with you to see how that's going. I hope it's going well. So, if you've seen my videos before, you know what I'm doing here. I'm shuffling the cards, waiting for the exact ones to come out for my little luminescent Cancerians and finding exactly what needs to be said. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for your cards, I'm going to talk about the energies that are surrounding all of us for the month of March. So, Cancer, you enter... Oh, first card coming out. And it's the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not surprised because I was just about to talk about the Ninth House. You enter March with all things to do with the Ninth House. Foreign people, foreign communities, cultures, uh, foreign travel. Some of you may have been travelling as we leave February and, and enter March uh, to foreign places. Um, either way, it's to do with broadening your mind, stepping out of what is usual and opening up to something bigger and broader. So that's the energy as you leave February and enter March. But the good news, Cancer, is that there's a gorgeous full moon. In fact, two this month, but a gorgeous full moon where Cancer is always at its most luminescent in your third house of communications. Okay, so what that might do for you, Cancer, is it might frustrate some of you a little bit when you're trying to get your point across, when you're trying to find the exact words to explain how you're feeling. It might be a little bit frustrating, but the key here is, is to sit back and observe and learn and analyze because it's a full moon, a Virgo full moon, all to do with analysis. Analyze how you can find better words and better ways to speak or write so that the people who just don't get you can fully understand what you mean. Because Cancer, you speak from the heart. You're heart-based people. You're intuitive. So a lot of your communication comes through this empathic sense, through a flow of feeling. And some people who just don't have that same gift that you have might have some difficulty understanding getting what you're, you're trying to communicate to them. So you'll get some insights in there in how to flow better and build a better communicative bridge between you and other people. So that's okay. That's a nice thing to happen, isn't it? But again, full moons, you are at your highest. You are really shining and you are going deep into all the beautiful gifts that you have, which is your intuition, your dream state, maybe dreams about other people, dreams about your siblings, dreams about your family members. And for some of you lucky ones who are very tapped into such things, you may be dreaming about those family members who may have gone before you, who may want to communicate some message to you. The Three of Cups just came out there. And it's a good time to, to begin a dream journal if you are a Cancerian who wants to organize uh, you, the things that you see and your thoughts and your feelings. It might be a good time to write those down. And who knows, maybe in all that beautiful flow, you might write some beautiful poetry or a song or a book, your creative things. Why not? Why not? Uh, what else is going on? So you have Mercury and Venus in your 10th house of where you are in the public, how the public see you. So it's usually to do with your job. It, we call the 10th house a career house because traditionally the only time that you could get to show your brilliance was through your career. But in the modern world, through YouTube and blogs and websites and things like that, people can show their talents in other ways. So wherever you get to show your talents for other people to see, this is where the Mercury and Venus will be helping you to communicate that better. However, however, in the third month, uh, in the third, 
in the third month, speaking of communicating properly, uh, that, 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 right, let's communicate properly. In the third week of March, there is a Mercury retrograde happening for you in your 10th house. And a, a couple of cards just jump out. It's the Ten of Swords and then the Page of Wands. So Cancer, we're going to keep talking and shuffling. And how will that make you feel? Because the sun then is also going into the 10th house. So it might not be as difficult for you, that this Mercury retrograde, as it will be for other people, because the sun and Venus in there might make it a little bit better. But if there are difficulties with how you project your talents, the th like I said, the thing that you do that people admire about you, when you stand on your platform, usually in your career, uh, it could get a bit tricky with the communication. Things might slow down. You, you might try to get things moving. And just every time you try, you'll just meet an obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And you'll go, what is going on here? What's going on? But everybody's going to be feeling this. It's like Mercury has decided to take a holiday. So when he usually keeps things moving, he is the oil in the wheel. He keeps things turning. He's just deciding late in March to take a holiday. Well, how can you blame him? I think everybody needs a holiday <laughs> from time to time. And so it might be a good time for you, if you work with clients, not to try and initiate something new with them, but if you have an old project with them or some old agreement with them, go back on that, dig out the old conversations and try to put a shape on those things that you've already built. So it's a time to focus on things that have already been decided upon and really not to try to start something new. Um, what else is going on? You've got Jupiter going retrograde in the fifth house. This is interesting because you've energy there. You've got Pluto and Saturn and then later in the month you have uh, the Mars going into your seventh house. It's to do with relationships, business relationships, your marriages, Anybody that you have a close agreement with or a close tie with, there's a big squeeze going on there. And Pluto's in there too, but the Jupiter retrograde in March uh, is going to ask you to take a few steps back and rediscover some fun in your life, a little bit of joy and happiness, things that give you pleasure, you know? The Seven of Swords just came out there. And what are those things? Things that you may have left behind and forgotten about. Um, and particularly in your relationships. Perhaps they've become a bit stagnant or a bit uh, too joyless. And it's time to go back now in March and have fun and play. It's all to do with play, play, play. And once you have this fun and play with your partner, you will rediscover that sense of romance. You'll rediscover something that makes you smile. Some of you who are single, don't worry, it's not all about partnerships and, and so on like that. You may, with the Jupiter retrograde, be rediscovering a creative talent that you kind of put aside that you, you want to go back and dig it up again and find the pleasure and joy in that. You know, for some of you, again, as two cards come out, the five, interesting, fifth house five, I was just about to say some of you may be getting a visit, a revisit from an old love. Will they be welcome? I don't know, because the five Fifth House of Cups just jumped out when I said that. And this is the card of rejection, loss and feeling hurt. So I don't know if you want an old love, somebody that you've really separated ways with. I don't know if you want them coming back because it'll just remind you of how much they hurt you. So that's for some Cancerians. So now we have the Eight of Swords. Um, at the end of the month, you have a full moon. Again, you'll be shining bright. A full moon in your fourth house of family life. And so everything to do with your home, you'll get great insights. 
There'll be moments in your home, if you're redecorating your home or if you're doing some changes in the home, there'll be a moment where it just all comes together and you'll say, finally, I understand what I need to do now to bring peace into my home. Maybe it's the noisy neighbours that uh, you, you're going to knock on their door and tell them, to, can you shut that dog up? I'm trying to sleep or some noise that's coming in. Uh, finally, at the end of the month, you will possibly find an insight in how to bring more peace into your home. As this card just came out, the Ten of Wands. Okay, so I've been shuffling the cards and talking about the energy, Cancer, and we're still waiting on a couple of cards. So what I'm going to do here is something that I don't usually do, but we're 10 minutes now. Your cards are quite slow. And this is true. The last two readings, January and February, that I've done for you, it's the same theme that's running through all of the videos. It's the pace must go slower. Even I've felt it, I'm feeling it now, go slow. I'm not entirely sure what's driving this, perhaps the transformation work that you've done in February, but there's something gentle and subtle happening in the background for you and all the energies are on the gentle and go slow possibly because you're feeling that there's a lot of unrest in your personal space fourth house in your home that you're just not wanting anything to disturb your peace so what i'll do now because of that is something i don't usually do i will choose the last cards which is the king of pentacles three of swords Six of Wands, and your last card is the Three of Wands. Okay, Cancer, let's organize these cards. So why do you want everything to go slow? Am I right? Are you finding, are you finding it difficult to get peace and quiet and everything? You're just willing and wishing for everything to go slower, slower. I mean, you want things in your life to move fast. You want things to be organized. But with the end result, organize this, 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 and this so that I can just go <sighs> slow, peace, and quiet. Is that it, Cancer? Is that the energy? Okay, finally, slowly, let's move down and have a look at what's going on with the cards. We begin with the Nine of Pentacles. Ninth house energy is always to do with broadening your mind and broadening your horizons. So we talked about this. Now, this card also talks about feeling satisfied to work on your own. You want to do things through your own sen sense of self-will and self-purpose. You, you have a new purpose. We do know that with all the deep work you did last month. And you want to go through March, standing on your own two feet, not depending on anybody and with a sense that you can tackle anything in your life on your own. Because perhaps, again, there might be a feeling that too many people are involved in your life. This is probably why you want some peace and quiet. And you're demanding at the start of the month to be on your own for a bit. Some of you Cancerians might actually be wanting a great big time out from your lover, from your partners, perhaps even from your family and friends. And you, you want that respite to, to get back to who you really and truly are. In terms of money and finances, I think you did a lot of good work. Well done, Cancer, in February, because this is the card of you feeling satisfied with your financial transactions, feeling happy that you finally got some sort of handle, some sort of insight into how to shape your money and your finances and you're kind of going with it you've tried and tested it tested it and now you're feeling happy go lucky because this is also the card of happy go lucky so it's a good mood it's a good mood as long as you're left alone to be in peace to be in a garden perhaps to be in nature and beside that we have the three of cups now this is a celebration of love you coming together with others to celebrate a birth, 
perhaps a marriage or something positive. Ninth house energy also could be somebody who has achieved something, a study, maybe they're graduating. It could be you. You could be graduating. You're celebrating some sort of higher knowledge, higher wisdom, but you're feeling good. You're with your friends. You're raising a glass and you're toasting something and saying, well done. Yeah, I like this. Now, this card also means in love personally to you. You're feeling like that you've had a renewal recently, maybe since Christmas, that you're feeling that you're more true to how you love, how you receive love and how you give love. And this card confirms that you are on the right path. You, you've transformed your relationships a little bit, starting from Christmas. And there is something worth celebrating about that. You're, you're more confident about your love life and about how it's proceeding. Now, for some of you, again, if you're single, you're saying, how does that pan out? It's the self-love. It's how you are giving love. You, there's something in this that makes you feel happier and confident in yourself, Cancer. Beside that, we have this very, very difficult card. And it's a completion card, so it's, it's good in one sense, bad in the other. This is you being completely weighed down and bogged down by too many things going on in your mind, too many pressures, and the pressure at points got so overwhelming that you felt it in your physical body. It took the wind out of your sails and perhaps made you feel so down and depressed and joyless and feeling like, oh, I have nothing left to give. And far off, you're saying, I know there's something, I know some good will come out of all of this. I know the pressure that I'm under right now. There is a horizon, there is a brightness to this, but right now it's just taking everything I've got to, to get through this. March baby is telling you that you will complete something. Now, completions, these cards, sometimes in certain ways they can say it's a full stop. All the hardship is coming to an end. Okay. But it always requires your agreement. You can decide to end all the problems in your life at the beginning, beginning of March, or you can choose to stay stuck and feel a little victimized by everything that you've been put through, all the things you've had to carry. So this is a wonderful card of choice. Never forget, you always have the choice here, Cancer. And I would love you to choose to let all of the pain and suffering finally leave you and relax your body. Don't feel like you've got 101 things weighing you down. And for some of you cancers, if you feel that people backstabbed you, because sometimes you yeah, had a literal card where you got, you, you got some bad vibes of people or situations, you know, let that pass because beside it, you have the page of wands and that is exactly what he's doing. He's turning his back on the painful situations on the you may have gotten a sudden shock or a fright or you may have been uh, jolted with a crisis but you're in March you're turning your back on that and you're saying I'm walking away from that heavy shit I don't need that in my life two cards suggesting that you want to be free and independent and to walk away from heavy, heavy, heaviness in your life. And that's exactly what the page is doing. He is really saying, I have a new, not a necessarily a new truth, but a new passion for my life. I, I'm prepared to go boldly into my future. I, I'm being driven by something, a flame inside of me. And I'm not going to go round and round in my mind anymore with this stuff. I'm, I'm going to get back in touch with my flame, with my sense of um, confidence, with my sense of self-expression. Whatever these things were, they stopped you being cancer. 
They stopped you being your bright and beautiful self. And as March comes in, you're getting back to being your wonderful, fabulous self. Thank God. Thank God. Because I do not want you held back by negativity, other people's negativity, even if there was some shade. And I just also get the sense that a lot of the problems were other people's problems that were weighing you down uh, and it caused you a lot of concern. But finally in March, that's on the out. But here we have a card that represents you seeing something that you quite you hadn't quite noticed before in other people people and you've noticed that their behavior is actually quite shady that they only want you when the good things are happening they'll arrive when they need something from you and they'll take it and then disappear so it's it, it, they're taking all the good from you and leaving you to fix your own mess they left you high and dry baby some people, some friends, perhaps even a lover, left you high and dry and this is why they've done it, because they're crafty, they're sneaky and they don't want all of you. They only want the good bits of you and there are so many good bits of you and you're so kind, generous, sympathetic to anyone who has a problem. It, it bothers me a lot when I see this card with you because it means somebody is taking advantage of you manipulating you and playing you and when they do that they leave you heartbroken oh gosh for some cancers i really am so sorry not all of you but some of you will be experiencing a bit of heart loss a heartbreak in the month of march um it won't be a great surprise to those who will be experiencing that because you will get this insight into their behavior they're shady as hell and they duped you and they made a fool out of you. But you know what, actually, Cancer, I'm going to say this. They didn't. Think of it like this. They did not dupe you. They did not make a fool of you. They made a fool of themselves. Why? Because you've so much to give. It's them who's missing out. You have so much to offer. It's those people who just can't see that that has lost. I mean, they're the losers here, not you. I'm getting cross now because the idea of you feeling this loss and being dealt shadiness by these people and feeling then lost and rejected that love has been kicked over and that you're not feeling good and you're crying. Oh my God, my blood is starting to boil. To do that to a gentle cancer and I mean, I'm not just saying you're gentle, you're not a walkover, I'm not trying to paint you as a pushover, you're smart, you don't let just anybody in. But this time somebody did come in and they, they've made a fool out of you and I am sorry, I am sorry. But look, look at what's beside it, Cancer. Let's explain, explain this. The, the, if you stick with them, if you stick with this shady person and they're making you feel like this, lost and sad and in a state of grief, if you stick with them, you've got this. You, you're feeling even more trapped. You, you're, you're, you're feeling bound in some way to them. Is somebody emotionally blackmailing you? Is somebody manipulating you in some way? Now, you're, you're getting a very similar vibe with Libra here. Uh, is there something between you and a Libra? Libra's not showing up in the cards, but it's just I've read their cards and there's a similar essence happening, something that you and Libra are sharing perhaps. But it's, it's you're wrapping yourself up here with them and they're giving you mental pain and it's their behavior. You're trying to figure them out. Eight always represents you going deep in your mind and trying to figure a situation out and it's not happening. The more you try to understand their shady behavior uh, and say, oh, well, maybe they're not all that bad, the more you realize that you're just putting yourself under more stress because they are that bloody bad. They are. 
And I know it's difficult for you to see that because you're a heart based soul and you want to explain away a lot of the bad behavior. Maybe they're doing it because they're, they're grieving. Maybe they're doing it because they're in a bad way at the moment or that their luck is down at the moment. But stop explaining it away, baby. If they're treating you badly, that's exactly what they're doing. They're treating you badly. Know your boundaries and draw a line, darling. Because again, beside it, you're overwhelmed again by this. All the, ooh, this is big cancer. You are very, very, very overwhelmed. And I didn't see this before. I didn't see it as I'm reading the energies. You have two cards that are showing that you're carrying the can for a lot of people. You're under a lot of pressure because you're holding the fort. You're holding everything together. Now it's a burden that you're prepared to carry which is what this card suggests. But I know I want you to know that you can really drop this and let it go at any time. You, you don't have to carry everything. I want you to start delegating your problems, baby. I want you to start divvying out work to other people, especially to family members. I don't want it all to fall on your shoulders because this is just, this picture that's paint, being painted here is just a little bit OTT. It's just too much pressure and too much pain. Now, here's the thing. I know you can handle it. You don't have to prove that, baby. You don't have to prove that you can keep it all together. We know you can. So, don't, you don't have to prove it to us, honey. You, it's time to let some of these things go. It really is. Because, again, if you're under all of this stress, pain and heartache that other people and their situations are, are putting you through, then you could actually begin to feel this physically on your body. On your body, where you would feel it is uh, through a sense of depression in your heart and in your feelings. Um, there are other uh, tension in your chest and so on like that. I don't want you to feel this high anxiety anymore. I'm getting very concerned now, Cancer, and I know this does not apply to every Cancer, so I don't want people here to just think, oh my God, this is my destiny for March. I'm going to do all this and feel all this. It's, it's not that March is all bad because we've discussed this. We know that things are positive and we've discussed this at the start of the video, but I'm focusing in on something very specific for some of you guys. And it concerns me now. And I absolutely want you to put an end to it. End it. And for those of you who are in a situation where you can't end it, if you're dealing with a problem that still requires a bit of fixing a few things, can I ask you to please bring people in on this and not to do it all alone? Don't be alone, baby. Don't be alone if you're overwhelmed. I, I, I'm saying it over and over because I want this to hit home with you. You don't have to prove anything. You don't have to work yourself to the point that you are exhausted. I want you to be free. And perhaps that's it. Perhaps this is exactly the turning point for you, Cancer. This is what needs to happen. It's like a bubble coming up, a bubble, 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 and you need to get the pin and finally burst it so that you are free, so that you get this peace and quiet that you're demanding, so that your home is happy and quiet. And that's it. That is it. Let that bubble burst. Years ago, they used to describe these cards. I think modern medicine has improved a lot since then, but years ago, they would say that these cards would be like an abscess, something that's constantly hurting you, constantly annoying you, something that's giving you a constant annoyance and always in pain. And Mars energy there in your 10th house, a lot of the energy now is like an, a scalpel, or a doctor's pin, or whatever you call it. I, don't, I have no medical expertise, but in order for the abscess to heal, the surgeon must give it a little And it looks like a disaster when it opens because all the stuff will, all the poison will come out. 
and it looks like, oh, what did I do? What did I do? But that is the point. It's letting the poison out of your life so that you can heal. March, let the poison out of your life so you can heal, baby. Let it begin. And I, I'm just getting very overwhelmed by that with you because I feel it. I feel it. Now, these are the cards that came out towards the end. The King of Pentacles. Okay, so once you do let this big abscess burst so that it can heal, then you'll begin to feel more in control of so many things in your bloody life. You'll be in control of your finances, which makes me suspect that somebody is bleeding you financially. Somebody is depending on you to give handouts or to pay for stuff. So for some of you Cancerians, you'll be back in control of your finances. Um, other people won't be so much involved in, in your financial world. He is so much in control of his spiritual journey. Pentacles is also his spiritual journey and he will be in control again. It's you once you let the poison out and heal. This wonderful sense of control and clarity, which is what you seem to crave right now, Cancer. Because this guy, he has his eyes closed and he has the scepter in his hand, which is all about receiving, like a TV aerial, receiving wisdom from a higher source. Now we know with the two full moons, if you are clear, open and receptive, you can receive great insight from the people that you love, people that have gone before you, people that have passed, your ancestors, your guides, whatever it is you want to call them, that there will be a greater ability to receive higher wisdom on how to get back in touch with your version of your life and I love that and beside him is the three of swords and the clarity that comes with him as you relax and channel it will give you the ability to heal your broken heart and to finally remove the thing that stands against you Anybody or anything that stands between you and your heart's desire or between you and your love, even if it's a situation, an Ill illness or a, a work situation or something, anything that stands between you and having a free flow in your heart will become clearer once you're grounded and healed. Some of you may want to actually get back in touch with your body, heal your body, uh, even if it's just a massage or some sort of relaxation where you're back in touch with your physical body in order to be calm again to understand this situation better and to heal it okay cancer your last few cards when you do that you're going to be celebrating a mini victory i love it a mini victory that uh, you people will see that you're not going to be taken advantage of anymore. People will see that you've triumphed, that you've held good reputation while there were shadowy people around you and some bullshitters, some people trying to bring you down, casting shade upon you. You will come out of it triumphant and squeaky clean and people will celebrate you for it. And it's almost like going through I'm just getting this image of you going through a darkness where you could have become like those negative people, but you decided not to. And you came out through the other side and people said, well done, congratulations, you've come out of that. And you're still beaming and you're still smiling and you still have your gorgeous luminescence about you. You came out untouched by other people's shady shit and by the darker crises and situations that had been affecting you over a long period and this is you being celebrated well done cancer i love it i mean you see it does come out right in the end it does work out and your last card is you feeling so much stronger in yourself there are new horizons there are places that you want to go maybe you are really considering that ninth house energy of moving somewhere else, going to a foreign country and telling everybody, oh, to hell with you. I, I There's bigger than this. There's more than this. Even in your career activity there too, you'll say, 
this is all just too heavy and too unnecessary. I want to play again. I want to have fun and I want to get back in touch with my vision of the world where I get a happy ending, where it's me doing it, where I'm not depending on anybody else, where I am the master of my own destiny and I am inspiring both myself and other people to transform their lives. Transformation, the work you did in February. You're now inspired and you want to move with that. And that's gorgeous, Cancer. That is gorgeous. These were deep cards, but I think it required it. And I promise you that if you allow this healing to come in March, you are going to be a different person so much better in yourself. Let go of the drama. Let go of the hangers on. Let go of the psychological bullshit and eliminate some of that psychic waste. I've said this to a few other signs too, uh, because Jupiter going retrograde in the fifth house is in Scorpio about eliminating. Eliminate the people who bring you down. If they're fun, stay with them. If they're not giving you a sense of fun, if they're not giving you a sense of romance, and if they're not making you happy, let them go. Let them go. I hope that's okay. Let, you do, let me know as the month progresses, please, in the comments or whatever, how this is panning out, because I, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm just getting a bit concerned about this. I think, you'll, I think you'll do it. I believe you will. And you'll feel the power in it when you do. So come on, my little cocoons. Come out, like we said in February. Come out of the cocoon and be the butterfly at the end. And flap those wings in all your beautiful luminescence. And show them all. Show them all your beauty. Cancer, I love you so much and I really do wish you the best for the month of March with all this transformative work and I'm, I'm giving you a kiss for luck and come back next month to see how this pans out. If this is the first time watching my videos, please do subscribe. You can like and share. You know you can join me on Facebook too. I have a Facebook page, She Bear Tarot. Come join the community. Sometimes very, very... Every now and then I put a little bit of extra content on it and it might be worth seeing, I don't know. But in the meantime, again, another kiss for luck, Cancer. I love you. I'll see you next time.